You know what sucks? The fact that I don't have a TV stand for my theater PC setup. So the problem is that it's, it's a really low area where the TV sits, so I can't find a stand that's low enough. Also, the slight fact that I don't have any money. The solution? Just make one. All right, so my computer is certain dimensions and the whole setup needs to fit in this one spot. So I measured out what I needed and the big thing was I needed to be eight inches tall. Well, my brother brought home these pallets that are four inches tall. And the big problem with the pallets isn't really the height, it's the fact that the wood going across the pallets doesn't quite reach all the way across. There's a little gap right in between on the edges there. You can see in the... So I went ahead and started removing the planks in order to narrow it so that the planks would span the whole width of the wood. Once I had what I felt like was enough planks removed, the next step was to separate all the wood from each other so each piece was individual and then cut the wood so it would be the right size. So the next step was to cut the two big support pieces out. I just knew the length I would need and cut all my support pieces to be the same length. I needed four pieces to get the height I was going to need, so two pieces on each side. Next was the hardest step that probably took the longest. I needed to sand every individual piece of wood very well. Everything needs to be sanded down completely. Once everything was sanded down, the next step was to go ahead and start staining it. I combined two stains, um, a dark oak, a golden oak, and uh, another darker stain that was actually didn't even have a name on the bottle. Alright, so you can kind of see how it's coming together. I am taking the width of the planks before that I took off and combining them with the support pieces, the main structural pieces that I made. And I'm going to take little pieces of wood that I cut out as gaps and combine all these pieces together to make it the right height and then I take the rest of the planks and put them over the top like so and then I put all the planks together and then started spacing them out evenly and made sure I had you know approximately evenly spacing every piece next step was to just staple everything on I just made sure everything was stapled and then I glued the two halves together using some Elmer's glue and then the only step left is to set it up 